don't make fun of my drawing skills. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Amber back with another team feed and today we are doing ramen hacks. Now most of you probably know ramen as that meal that you eat when you have absolutely nothing else in your house to eat. But, you know, you can actually make a pretty good meal out of it if you have just the right stuff to add into it. So today I'm going to be showing you a few of the things that I like to add into my ramen. All right, first off, yeah, I'm that person. I like to use chopsticks when it comes to my ramen. Don't let that make you feel like you can't enjoy Asian food because you can't use chopsticks or you don't like to use chopsticks. I just like to, I don't use them correctly. It's whatever your preference is. So when I make ramen, I don't really like to keep in a lot of the juice. So I usually pour out the water after I've made it. You can see it doesn't really have any in it. It's mostly just dry noodles now that I've cooked in the microwave. By the way, other prop to ramen, you don't have to make it in the oven or on the stove. You can totally make it in the microwave or if you just have like a kettle or a coffee pot with hot water from that. So first off, and a lot of people like to make fun of people for doing this. I like to add in a slice of American cheese when it's still hot. Trust me. This is actually gonna make it pretty creamy and it's gonna make it taste really, really good. Kind of like mac and cheese mixed with ramen. Okay, see, this is when you don't use chopsticks. This is when you actually use a spoon or a fork. Now that we've got the cheese mixed into the noodles, you'll notice that of course it's not really melting all the way because there's just no liquid. Now I might not like to have like a ton of liquid in my ramen, but I do still like to add the flavor packet with a little bit of liquid. And what I do is I microwave about two tablespoons of water and then I add the flavor packet. And then I add a little bit of chili oil. Now, chili oil is basically like any other kind of oil. Um, it's just kind of spicy because it's got chilies in it. So just pour that in about two tablespoons of water and the flavor packet and mix that chili oil in. Look at that spoon, it's bright orange. And this is what we have a paper towel for. And then while it's still hot, I pour it on top of my noodles. That chili oil is really gonna help it stick to the noodles. Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> All right, so I also like to add some kind of protein to my ramen. Now I don't have any pork or eggs, which is usually what I put in. I usually put a hard boiled egg in, maybe a couple of slices of pork or even some ham lunch meat because it just it adds that protein and really makes it into a meal instead of just a pack of junk food. So instead, what I sometimes add, depending on whether I'm feeling like seafood or if I'm feeling kind of like I don't want anything heavy like meat in it, I will either add dried sardines or dried bean curd. Okay, I know both of those sound scary. The, the dried sardines do still have their faces, so they do stare at you. And of course, when you open them, oh, and honestly, the bean curd, it looks really weird. It looks kind of squishy and kind of orangey, grocious beige colored. And when you open it, whew, it smells a little bit like cinnamon, which would probably turn you off from putting it into a ramen dish. But if you really like fish, don't be afraid to try the dried sardines. They're just kind of like crunchy, regular sardines. Really fishy, really crunchy. Now, bean curd, you might know by another name. It's tofu. So, as you can see, 
even though it looks really squishy from the front, it's actually really, really solid. And just tastes like tofu. It's good protein addition if you don't want meat or if you can't have meat. Today, I'm gonna add these dried sardines. Surprise sardine. So that they're a little more evenly distributed. What I'm also gonna put in, and I like to add this at the very end, this is nori furikake. Now what it is, is this one is a mixture of little crumbled bits of seaweed and sesame seeds. See, you can see that seaweed and those sesame seeds in there. And just like the dried sardines, seaweed tastes like the ocean. So it's kind of fishy. But the sesame seeds balance it by being kind of toasted. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. Find a sardine. Come back here. Stop whipping away. Mm. Oh yeah. It's really good. Now, as you can probably tell, I don't mind for things to taste kind of fishy. But if you have any problem with that whatsoever, the nori furikake has got seaweed in it, so it's gonna taste slightly fishy the dried sardines are gonna taste fishy. So if you've got any problems with those, then just leave it out or try it by itself before you add it to your ramen. It all depends on your own preferences. Now, if you come in and pick up a snack pack, you will get all of the ingredients that I just talked about, as well as a snack pack of nori. This is the sea salt flavor. And what it is, is it's just sheets of dried seaweed that have been seasoned with sea salt. Once again, I recommend you try it before deciding that it's just gross, okay? Different cultures, different flavors. Try it and see if you like it. I prefer the kimchi flavor myself. I like things a little bit spicy, but that just kind of tastes kind of like softer, paper thin potato chips. So not only will you get the snack pack of nori, you will also get a surprise treat in your snack pack. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You'll just have to find out. Snack packs will be available at the front desk after this video. All you gotta do is come up and ask for one and we'll give you one. Now they're only around while supplies last. So I've only made 10 of them, 10 snack packs. 10 snack packs are available. So come in, grab one, and see what you think. Bye everyone.